today on Let's Talk Drinks, I'm going to do a Pisco Sour. Now I know that there's a great debate between Chilean and Peruvian Pisco Sours. I'll probably do a video on that later, but stay tuned and Let's Talk Drinks. Hi guys, so today I want to make a Pisco Sour. And I'm going to do a Peruvian Pisco Sour. It's really popular, especially in South America. And it's not something that's super well known in Australia, but it is absolutely worth trying, okay? And it's really, really simple to make, just like all the other sours. I'm going to start with 60 mils of Pisco. Now, I'm going to use a Peruvian style Pisco, which has the Quebranta style grape, okay? There are a few different types, and depending on who you speak to from Peru, this is the type that I like. Super simple, we're gonna do 60 mils or two ounces of Pisco. Next up, 22 and a half mils of freshly squeezed lime juice, which I've pre-done. 15 mils of sugar syrup and about 20 mils of, you can either use egg white, uh, fresh eggs, make sure that they're really fresh, but I'm going to use aquafaba, which is actually the juice from butter beans or chickpeas. And last but not least, just a little bit of orange blossom water, about two and a half mils, which is probably half a bar spoon. So traditionally the Pisco Sour is blended. However, I like to drink my Pisco Sour served straight up. Um, it can be in a coupette. I like it in an old fashioned glass. It's either been in the freezer or chilled down. Just a bit of uh, ice in there, just to chill it down while we're making the drink. And then I'm gonna add some ice and give it a shake. Really wanna give it a good shake to get that egg white or the aquafaba to really uh, froth up in the drink. Okay. Now I'm going to do something that's called a reverse dry shake. I'm a little bit lazy sometimes and I don't do it as often as I should. However, I'm just going to show you what I do is you just pour it into another shaker. We want to make sure we get all of that drink, don't want to waste any of it. Okay, and we reshake it again. I'm going to pour it back into this one because it's a lot prettier, this cocktail glass, cocktail shaker. Give it a shake. We're really emulsifying that, that foam in the egg white or the aquafaba. And I'm just going to pour it straight out. And traditionally it has three drops of bitters. We don't have the Amargo Chuncho bitters here in Australia, so I'm going to use Angostura. And just three drops, oh, probably a little bit too much there. This was used so that it would mask the flavor of the egg white. You don't really need to do that with the aquafaba. And there you go, you've got a Pisco Sour. So I'm gonna give it a really quick try. Yeah, what I love about aquafaba is I don't get that egg white smell, which is something that I hate about sours that use egg white. Okay, we'll give it a bit of a taste. Yeah, it's so good. It's a great spirit, so it's kind of like an unaged brandy, I guess, made uh, in Peru. It's very refreshing. The sourness and the sugar syrup blends really, really well. So underrated. Get out to a bar, give it a try. We're at the 18th Amendment here, but unfortunately we're in lockdown at the moment. Or just make yourself one at home and give it a try. You'll really enjoy it. And before I go, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like or a comment, and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.